this is the last thing I wanted to talk about. Um, I mentioned it before already regarding Tom Sachs, right? Somebody that I'm a big fan of, and to me, somebody that created one of the greatest Nike collaborations of all time in the Nike Craft Mars Yard, especially the number ones, right? The, the first editions, which I had in absolutely wore to the ground. But I'm a big fan of his, the lovely design studio and whatnot. You know, you sort of obsess over his store. I remember copying a little bit of his online retail store and kind of copied it in my own style from my own little website for a time. Really big fan of his. Obviously, the 10 bullets principles of design also. I like all that shit. But lately, he's been accused of running a cult and being a little bit of a scary, mean old boss. And the accusations keep getting worse now. Curse of this article um, from Complex. It says as follows. Nike covered up a reference to slave work on the Tom Sachs sneaker box in 2017. <laughs> so these sneakers right i've had these right and my mine are mine had to throw away because they got completely beaten up but they're now going for i think like i think they're going in the thousands on StockX, something crazy but they're one of my favorite collaborations of all time they're, they're probably the only sneaker that i have in my i had in my collection that got the most compliments from regular people that don't care about trainers these are the ones that got you know compliments from the aunties from the uncles to to the brothers to the sisters to the ran to the random caucasian people like people love these shoes legitimately they're legitimately one of my best shoes i had and i can't believe i've wrecked mine and I have to throw them away but doesn't matter nike had kind of the complex kind of covered this development is tom Sachs' story and it's pretty hilarious in, in one way it says nike quietly altered the packaging for a sneaker collaboration with the artist tom Sachs in 2017 scrubbing the box of his nike craft max yard 2.0 shoe of the phrase work like a slave <laughs> so you can't say work like a slave but you can say dance like a stripper did you hear that you can't say work like a slave, but you can say dance like a stripper. I feel like I'm like a, I'm like a battle rapper. You can say work good like a slave, but you can't say that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, let's continue. Sash is one of the Nike's highest profile collaborators. He came to work with the sneaker brand through his friendship with former Nike CEO Mark Parker and has released a saw four separate Nike models since 2012. Sash is under scrutiny this week in the wake of a report from Curbed that described the New York studio as a cult-like workplace. Honestly, give me the cult. If I have to join a cult, I'm not going to lie. If I have to join a cult to get these shoes, I'll join the cult. If I have to give somebody sloppy toppy, if I have to, if I have to bend over and cough, regardless, I'll do that if I have to get these shoes. Especially these ones, right? These Tom Sachs Mars Yards 2.5s, which never came out, right? They they basically upgraded the shoes that I had. They've been reinforced with this rubberized toe at the front. So if you're working in the studio or a flipping, you know, anvil falls on your toe, you're not going to break your toes. Maybe you might, you know, might not break your nail, but you might break your actual toes regardless. And then I like that on the, on the toe box and the, and the side sections, they've been reinforced with this waterproof type fabric. It's kind of like a mesh I forgot what it's called. I forgot what the material of it's called. Then you've got these reinforced metal eyelets at the top here that kind of stop the fraying. These are a really good upgrade to the shoes I already had, like a really nice upgrade. But we've got no idea on when these are ever coming out. But legitimately, 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 if I have to join a cult to get these, I'm joining a cult. I swear on my life I'm joining it. So these complaints that people are having, I don't understand it. Tom Sachs forever. We continue. Um, curbed a story. Sorry. The Curb Story says the shoe once appeared on a Zoom call um, with the women employees at Nike wearing just the, this as underwear. Oh, hold on, let's go back again. The Curb Story says Sash once appeared on a Zoom call with women employees at, at the Nike wearing just his underwear. That's a bit excessive. If he's in the studio chilling out and you're calling him when he's out of studio time, then, you know, you need to relax. Uh, uh, uh. Um, Nike did not respond for the Curb's comments or request. Anyway, Tom Sachs' Nike Craft 2.0 was one of the most coveted shoes in the last decade. The modern classic has presently fetches up to $4,000 on resales market. When it was first released, the shoe was immediately target of resellers who sometimes pay well over the limited uh, for it. One reseller who has been able to buy early pairs of the Mars Yard from retailer before the shoe released in 2017 said he has no he had to return the pairs to the request of the store stocking them as Nike has sent out notes that the boxes need to be altered. The reseller requested an MT so that it not to be jeopardized with access. He says, so it's a reseller. The reseller said the following. They're recalling back all the shoes. We need to get them back. The reseller remembers being told by the store at the time that sold it to him. There is a problem on the box. Nike apparently thought better of releasing a shoe in a box with a reference to working like a slave. 
The original box of the Mars 2.0 Nike on 2017 had the following, right? Can you see it there? That's what it had, right? The original box. Work like a slave, order like a king, create like a dog. I don't see the issue with this, to be fair. You kind of get what he means. He's not saying legitimately work like a slave, right? Like, actually, he just means hustle in that kind of way. You would imagine. That's what you'd hope it means anyway. The writing appears to linger just barely with the box, which I purchased in Nike Lab 21 Mercer. After peeling back the few inches of duct tape, I can make out the faintest create. The writing persists on the boxes and for the fake versions. Uh, this week, Complex released out to a vendor selling fake prints, fake pairs of 2.0 and requested the box of the photo they provided show the box on the inside. Yeah, as you can see, there we go. Work like a dog. If a factory were producing fakes of the shoe, it tracks it down that it would have based them off the original specs of the box and not the updated last minute instructions for Nike to remove them. But yeah, the new allegations against us could threaten his relationship with Nike and the up and coming product collaboration. Nike has distanced itself from the partners over similar issues in the past and just last year cut ties with a deal with long term um, endorser Kyrie Irving in the wake of his controversial support. Please don't cancel the deal before he drops them. Please don't do this. Please, I beg of you. We're deeply concerned by the very serious allegations, Nike spokesperson says. We're in contact with Tom and his studio, and we're seeking better understanding of the situation and how these issues have been addressed. Sass Studio did not respond to the complex for a request to comment. I hope that we still get them. Nike is working on a 3.0 of the shoe, according to internal brand documents reviewed by Complex. No images of the upcoming 3.0 have been leaked, but Nike has publicly confirmed the shoe is coming. So there's meant to be another shoe in the works. Um, Tom Sachs is getting accused of turning up to Zoom meetings in his, in his tighty whities He's been accused of writing, um, you know, offensive, racist, um, you know, graffiti on the inside of the box, which I don't think it is. I think if any, this is quite motivating. And if these dropped around flipping Black History Month, that would have been perfect for me. <laughs> but yeah, he's been accused of all manner of things. So maybe it's too hot in the block. It's too hot in the streets. And they'll end up cancelling it sooner rather than later. You'd imagine that's what's going to do because a lot of these bands are just scared a blowback so and they also don't want to risk an opportunity a, a kind of they don't want to risk a scenario where the shoe doesn't sell because people are protesting that you know they're basically running a racist sneaker collaboration organization which they're clearly not but you can imagine them thinking the way that they want to think regarding that so um hopefully that doesn't happen and we do see the shoes coming up because i really really do want them really desperately so i'm hoping that isn't the fact because these shoes are too hard to just be binned. Maybe not these updates. I don't think these updates are that great, personally, for me. Like I said before, this is the original model of the of the Mars Yard that I had, that I beat up and threw away. I don't think this model is that great, to be completely honest. I don't think it's also the best. To me, this edition is definitely the best version of it. With this kind of rubberized toe at the front and the reinforced eyelets and whatnot. The sole looks like it's been lifted up a little bit, you know, maybe a few inches more than the original. That looks a little bit thicker there in terms of the midsole. You've got this nice little protective section there on this thing. I love it. I think it looks freaking beautiful. So I hope he gets cancelled after the shoes come out so I can purchase them. I hope Tom Sats get cancelled after the shoes come out so I can purchase them. <laughs> 